Hey Sticks and Bits, it's Sam. Uh, I'm just been contemplating a video on something super boring like safety um, because I'm sure that uh, Instagram channels like myself or Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave uh, inspire people to try and do their own creations. Uh, they've certainly inspired me. Um, but when it comes to hockey sticks and cutting them up and all of that fun stuff, um, there's a few things you really do need to take into consideration, especially if you're going to be using power tools. Um, you do need to protect a few key things, um, you know, like your eyes. Uh, so you need something like safety goggles. Um, the stuff that hockey sticks are made out of, um, the carbon fiber, the graphite, it's really bad for your lungs. So you really don't want to be breathing much of it in. Um, it also gives you nasty splinters if anyone's broken a stick and grabbed it in the wrong place. So avoid those. But when it comes to cutting up uh, sticks, when you're doing it with a power tool, wear one of these. Um, I look like something out of the fly. That's going back some. Uh, it's just a filtration mask, but it will stop you taking in all the composite stuff to your lungs um, and then up your nose because that's not much fun. And if you are using big power tools, uh, like I have done in my videos, you will sometimes need ear defenders or, or earplugs or whatever um, because you don't want to wreck your hearing with that. And if you're working with big things like pallets, like I have been this week, I also use sexy gloves because splinters are no fun at all uh, and neither is tetanus <laughs> if you have to deal with rusty screws or nails or whatever so just uh, I wanted to warn you guys about uh, power tools because they're called power tools for a reason they're, they really are quite dangerous and you forget especially when you get a bit blasé or you're tired or you think you're fine whatever it's normally the last job of the night or the day and you think you can get away with something and inevitably end up injured. I mean, I was using the mitosaur the other week and it was the last cut. And I thought I'd secured down the last stick that I was cutting and I hadn't. And it spun up. It cracked me on the hand. And I genuinely thought I'd broken four fingers in my hand. Um, and I had playoffs that weekend. So luckily it hadn't. It was just because it was cold um, and it stung a lot. And I'm pretty sure I bruised the bones, but they were okay. So, but it's it was a stark reminder that I'm dealing with very powerful tools and you've got to be careful. So, just if you're going to start making stuff, just take into consideration um, a few simple safety aspects, and you will be quite all right. Carry on, dandy, and then you can go away and play hockey. Failing that, if you're going to cut off a limb. Do it properly and go off a place ledge. <laughs> All right, that's it for now uh, from my boring safety video, but it's been on my mind a little bit, so I wanted to share it. All right, catch you later.